In this paper, we contribute the design, implementation, and final deployment of Network Explorer, an information visualization tool for navigating large networks, specifically designed for healthcare analysts. Analysts have been using Network Explorer to find suspicious clusters in networks like the one shown here on the screen with that has around 18,000 nodes. Those are networks with sensitive information. So for this purpose of this demo, we are going to use uh, my personal social network. Here we can see information of 760 of my friends in Facebook and their connections. There's an edge between two nodes if they share more than a certain number of common friends. We can zoom in and zoom out and pan to the different areas and there are some limits on the number of edges that I'm drawing uh, in order to achieve some interactivity on the browser. We can select to see only those friends that have more than say five uh, friends in common and with Network Explorer we can even say things like hide nodes that don't have any edges. By doing this we can remove some of the elements. This is the overview mode and we can see that there are some groups created in there. To highlight those we can use the clustering algorithm and recompute in the browser uh, the different elements and by doing that immediately the tool will start using the clustering library and the group in a box uh, algorithm to separate each one of the nodes into its own box. Please notice that here in the network in the node navigator uh, we can see that we are showing only 432 out of the 760 nodes uh, available and the colors in the final column show us uh, the clusters that were found. We can sort by those and create like specific ones. From this one we can explore that this network is interesting to us so I can jump into that network and by doing that the node navigator will show me that inside that network there's 99 nodes uh, that have been selected here and this is like the second step in the jumping into. <coughs> when you're here you can go back to the original network or the first level or let's jump in for a second and then you can perform more filtering um, uh, elements, look at individual nodes that have been anonymized here, or if you're interested, you can recompute again the clusters, which let me see in inner subclusters inside this network. For instance, resort again, and inside that one, I want to jump in into this one, taking me into a second level of deepness. This type of analysis was very common among our analysts. Second mode of use of Network Explorer is the ego distance mode. In this mode, analysts were interested in selecting one interesting node, say this one in here, and being able to analyze it alone. By doing that, they were able to establish a target node, then start exploring its connections one by one. Here we can see the top 10 connections of this target node, and then we can keep on exploring further and further into each one of their sub-connections. In this ego distance layout, nodes are placed according to the distance to the target nodes and the original ones in different positions in the x-axis of the screen. Moreover, users were able to select uh, some of the nodes <coughs> and pin them in specific areas of the screen. Then they can disable the ego distance layout that place them in the uh, fixed positions for the x-axis and then by distributing nodes on the screen, they were able to, to identify nodes that are connected only to certain parts of the network. In this case, these two nodes in here are only connected to the one on the top. And they can continue the exploration, identifying subclusters and elements that are hard to see in the overview 